It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Thursday, the 1st of August. I'm Michael Groff. Near average temperatures today with isolated afternoon and evening showers and storms. A possibility. We'll continue with that tomorrow. And this weekend will just be a scorcher with temperatures well above average up into the excessive heat range. But moisture will be slowly increasing and we will see a better chance of showers and storms, especially by the time we get later into the weekend and the first half of next week. All right, let's talk about it first. The Almanac from yesterday, 110 degrees, the afternoon high. 90 was the morning low, 106 and 85 are the averages for this time of year. And we don't have it officially up on our graphics yet, but I will just tell you we finished July as the second hottest month The second hottest month on record, the second hottest July on record. The mean temperature for the month, 101.1. So, yeah, not nearly as hot as July 2023, but still squarely in second place overall. And it's only the second time in history where we finished with a mean temperature above 100 degrees uh, here in Phoenix for a month. But there you go. Outside now. Here at 7 o'clock, we've got partly sunny sky. We're sitting at 88 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points up at 65, so it's sticky out there. 46% the humidity, wind light barometer rising. We've had a couple of showers and storms around this morning, and we will maybe still hear a rumble of thunder or two for the next hour to two hours. But most of the showers have focused or shifted focus into western Arizona and southeast California. The upper-level weather pattern across the nation That upper low that brought these showers and storms and the dust and some heavy rain to the south of us last night. Well, it's still moving northward and there is plenty of moisture over the state today. It's just that I don't think we're going to have great dynamics by this afternoon for storms here in the south central desert. Still some isolated storms will be possible and it will be quite steamy out there. High pressure is slowly building back here into the southwest and that's going to result in much warmer temperatures for this weekend. Speaking of the watch warning map, it's all about heat from the southern plains to the southeast, the Gulf Coast and all the way up into the middle Atlantic states, as well as over the Pacific Northwest and the Intermountain West. So places like Spokane, Burns, Oregon, Boise, Idaho. Yes, we're talking about very hot temperatures over the next few days. Uh, We could see temps this weekend up in the Treasure Valley of Idaho, uh, anywhere from 105 to 110 degrees. Even over eastern Montana, Glasgow, up in the mid-90s today, around 102 degrees tomorrow. For us, yeah, heat is a story here too. An excessive heat watch is currently in effect. And that's from 10 a.m. Saturday through 8 p.m. Sunday. And that will likely be upgraded to an excessive heat warning by the National Weather Service later today as we do expect those hot temperatures this weekend. Convective outlook for today, the slight risk of severe storms from around Indianapolis to Louisville and Cincinnati, Ohio. The broader severe weather risk extends from Oklahoma eastward through uh, the Great Lakes and all the way south and eastward toward the Atlantic coast. Here in Arizona, we're in the green thunderstorms possible today. And while we don't anticipate organized severe weather, as you well know, any storm is capable of becoming severe during the monsoon. Here's the day two outlook. This is for tomorrow. And again, marginal risk for severe storms for a good portion of the East Coast and up into the Ohio Valley. And in far southeast Arizona, there's a marginal risk. This is for tomorrow. Uh, And that's including Tucson, Nogales, Douglas, Bisbee, Sierra Vista, Benson. And those areas in the darker green, of course, possibility with the strongest storms for damaging winds 58 miles per hour or greater. So be aware of that tomorrow. Here's the precipitation outlook valid through Thursday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, generally a tenth of an inch or less. But we could see amounts uh, exceeding an inch, maybe closing in on two inches for parts of the higher terrain, especially the eastern mountains, the White Mountains, parts of southeast Arizona. As we do expect more monsoon moisture to work in here, especially by about uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so better chances of storms will be with us. And we'll talk about the details of that right now as we explore the models, see what the future may hold. Here we go, the GFS. It's the 06Z run. And this is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. High pressure sits off to the east and northeast of us. A southeasterly flow is in place, and ideally, that's what you want to see for monsoon activity. So what it means down at the surface for the rest of the day today Partly cloudy sky, again, an isolated storm around this morning, but mostly to the west of us. 
And we'll see some widely scattered showers and storms firing up this afternoon over the higher terrain and across southeast Arizona, but probably not as numerous in coverage as what we saw yesterday. And so despite the fact that we do have this southeasterly steering flow, the there's still kind of a, a cap here across south central Arizona, that uh, capping inversion. And so the storms that fire up across southeast Arizona, which will be fewer in number than yesterday, will work their way in our direction but probably falling apart before we get in here. And I know people ask, well, is that uh, a symptom of the urban heat island effect? Well, in today's case, I think it's just more about lesser dynamics in place in our part of the state, uh, although the heat island certainly plays a role in how storms interact as they come into the valley, as always. But for today, it's more of a, a dynamic forcing issue here across south central Arizona. But again, we can't completely rule out storms. We'll put a 20 percent chance into our forecast for late this afternoon and this evening. The primary threats, gusty winds, blowing dust, locally heavy rain, and always lightning. All right, for tonight, a few showers and storms around in the evening, otherwise partly cloudy, lows, low 80s to about 90. Tomorrow, it's really more the same. Uh, high temperatures will be a bit warmer. We'll be around 103 to 107 today, but around 107 to 111 tomorrow with Partly cloudy sky and again, widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. Now, as we head into the weekend, high pressure is in control. It continues to strengthen, but it's shifting further to the north. So the flow aloft is still out of the east or southeast. That's good. But with stronger ridging, that's warmer air aloft. So we're going to have to overcome that in order to get storms into the south central desert. So we do have a decent synoptic setup for storms, just... I think, you know, kind of in that uh, mid and upper level, the, the air aloft is a little bit warm. Lapse rates are lower. So we'll still call for widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. But uh, temperatures, yeah, very hot. Highs anywhere from 110 to 115 here in Phoenix for both Saturday and Sunday. Just a slight chance we get a storm in here. But as we go to next week, the ridge will weaken slightly. Still going to be in a favorable spot, generally to the north or northeast of us, shifting back toward the four corners and east southeasterly flow continues. Scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms in the mountains, widely scattered storms in the deserts for Monday, but the moisture is with us. The humidity is up. Temperatures probably still hot, uh, 109 to 113. I, I just don't see anything that's going to really cool us off anytime soon, really dramatically. But Tuesday looks like a more active day. The GFS has been on this for quite a while. We've been talking about this, and still we expect a, a continued increase in monsoon moisture with the heights coming down slightly, that's going to cool the air aloft slightly, better lapse rates. And so I think the atmosphere is primed for a pretty decent thunderstorm outbreak on Tuesday. Scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. They should roll from southeast and east central Arizona into the lower deserts. Uh, it's still going to be hot. Highs 108 to 112. But again, the, the chance of storms looks pretty decent in here, especially by Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. We've bumped the rain chance up into about the 30 to 40 percent bracket. So that looks good. Now, if Tuesday does turn out to be more active, Wednesday is probably less so, but we'll continue with scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms in the forecast, kind of a, a generic low mid-grade monsoon forecast in effect here for next Wednesday. And high temperatures continue to back off a little bit. Highs 106 to 110, but that's still above normal for this time of year, but not absolutely ridiculously out of bounds for early August. A week from today, this is Thursday the 8th, uh, some sort of tropical low we're going to watch uh, moving up the nature coast of Florida or over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. How that system evolves, you know, remains to be seen. It's a week out, hasn't even developed yet, but obviously we're watching the tropics there. Speaking of the tropics, we've got a tropical cyclone depicted by the GFS off of the coast of the Baja, a little closer to us this time than previous runs. But again, it's a system that hasn't even formed yet. We're not going to concern ourselves with that uh, right now. It's just one of those things that GFS loves to do in paint in these tropical cyclones. Would that be a factor in our weather in this kind of a synoptic setup? Not really. Uh, that would be pretty harmlessly drifting to the northwest and out of our area because high pressure sits over the southwest. Although it is shifting a little further to the east, the flow aloft is still out of the southeast. We're kind of on the western periphery of this uh, ridge as it continues to shift uh, toward the southern plain states. And that's evident as we go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 10th. Ridge is depicted here over Texas, 
and some sort of inverted trough is rotating around the western side of that here into the southwest. The upper heights are still around 594 decameters, give or take. And so temperatures are still going to be hot, but not quite as hot. We're not going to be up around 115 in this configuration. We'd see highs still pretty close to 110, though. And scattered afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms would be with us. Uh, no real big changes. It doesn't look like there's any major drying trend. It just doesn't look like there's any one particular day that we can key in on as a big thunderstorm day, although Tuesday is looking more favorable uh, here in our forecast, and that's a day that we're going we're gonna to keep an eye on. But, of course, all of this is dependent. I mean, any day we could see one of these disturbances, one of these little upper lows. You never know when that's going to happen. A little MCV, mesoscale convective vortex that kind of, rotates up here from uh, from a distant thunderstorm complex it can always happen so that's why we we watch this stuff every day and models out here at five six seven eight nine ten days especially in the monsoon season they're they're not very useful other than they just show us the general synoptic pattern and we can just give a broad brush sort of forecast all right looking at rainfall for phoenix off the gfs ensemble the mean is up around or just above three quarters of an inch. The European Ensemble a little bit better here than recent runs uh, with around or just under a half an inch. And this goes out through the 15th of August, both of these. So uh, we do expect slightly more active weather at some point. But again, we're, we're still just having a hard time. This, this is a monsoon season that's frustrating because we've just had many days with this kind of warm air aloft that's just sitting here over the south central deserts. It's hard to break through it. It's hard to get a really good widespread thunderstorm outbreak. I think just about everybody has seen a storm or two this season, but we just haven't had that big soaking rain across the entire valley. And I don't know if we're going to get that or not. It's hard to say. Last year, we didn't get it at all. Uh, the year before, uh, or uh, 2020, we didn't get that at all. Uh, you know, so it's been... It's been kind of interesting these these last several monsoon seasons, with the exception of 2021 and to a degree 2022, uh, have been dry. They've been uh, just kind of either monsoons or or low end monsoons. So hopefully this one August turns out to be more active. And typically speaking, August is our most active month for thunderstorms. So here's to hoping. And looking at uh, temperatures off the national blend of models, there's no sign of any big changes in temperatures. They're going to remain a, a little bit above average for the most part on any given day. Highs 110 plus, lows again in the mid-city around 90 and in the 80s for just about everybody else. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, then click that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube and make those monetary contributions. Or you can donate directly to me via PayPal Groff Show at gmail.com. That's the PayPal address, G-R-O-F-F -F Show at gmail.com for PayPal. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out. Check out her relevant links all down in the description. Also, our streaming station available 24-7, 365. What is it called? It's KMGX. And we play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that. So I highly encourage you to give that a listen as well. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, it is immensely appreciated. We couldn't do these videos without you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Thursday.